just got to finish. I mean, we started off pretty good, you know, seven, seven points first quarter. And then, you know, we got, I feel like we got complacent a little bit. And now, uh, you know, we just got to finish with some coach stress on. What made him so difficult to tackle? Uh, I mean, he's a, he ran hard, you know, he didn't want to go down. And you playing a guy like that, you got to hit him every single play, every, throughout the whole entire game. So, uh, like I said, we just got to finish. Jonathan, what does it take when you guys maybe get behind the eight ball to kind of keep your energy up and make sure everybody is still out there giving 1,000%? Uh, we got to realize that it's a lot of football left. I mean, we got arguably the best player in college football. I mean, obviously, he's the best player. And we got to get the ball to him as much as possible. So uh, once we realize that, you know, and sometimes you just get down because we, we're not, we don't like, nobody likes getting scored on, you know, and it's kind of a uh, momentum, momentum buster. So uh, we just got to keep playing and realize that we, we got to get the ball to the offense as much as possible. Well, why do you think it's not trans? Jair just said it's in practice. It's better. Why is it not translating to Saturdays? Uh, you know, in practice, you know, we're we're, we're always making good plays. You know, we're always uh, consistently doing our job and stuff, winning off the ball and stuff like that. But you know, in the game, you know, when some some wrong happens, you know, it's it kind of somebody it kind of frees up a little bit. You know, we just gotta understand that they they're gonna get us sometimes. You gotta realize that's football. So we just gotta bounce back and keep playing. Are you guys having a, a trouble with that bouncing back, or is it like a snowball effect with you guys? Uh, also, we got a, I think we got a young team too. Somewhat, uh, we got a lot of freshmen playing in these big positions. You know, so they're they're still kind of getting used to the game, the speed of the game, and also taking some losses, some plays. You know, they're used to playing every down where they're winning plays. That's why they're here now. So uh, once they they get past this, you know, it's a learning thing for all of us, um, including myself. To realize just keep going. It's a lot of football left. Jalen, just talk about the fumble. What happened with that? Did you not see the guy coming from behind you? What happened on that play? Uh, just fumbled the ball. Uh, bad ball control. Sloppy with the ball. I just fumbled the ball. Jones, are you okay? What, what happened at the end when you went? When you got hurt with that? Uh, I mean, my cleat was messed up. I mean, my, the soles came out of them, and uh, the bottom of them, and my cleat just completely ripped apart, and I started to cramp a little bit. But I mean, I just drank a little Gatorade, a little salt, but it wasn't nothing really. Did you guys feel like a different energy with Coach Sterling on the sidelines? Yes, I mean, it definitely brought more energy to us to realize. I mean, because that's what I was used to, and that's what a lot of us are used to. Our DC on the field, you know, he brought a lot of energy to the sideline. You know, try to keep us up a lot, and I thought he did a really good job as far as trying to keep up, keep our heads in the game and stay with it. In terms of adjustments and stuff like that, what was the difference between him being up in the box and him on the sideline? Uh, really, that part didn't really change. I mean. He didn't really have to change anything. We ran the same stuff. At that point, they just ended up beating us because at the end they showed they just wanted it more. We just got to finish. Was it a tired thing? Uh, it was a little both. You know, just uh, some. I really thought we got complacent. You know, we felt like we did our job a little bit in the first half, and then we got a little complacent, realized they're not gonna kick it up a notch. But I mean, playing from them in the past, last year and years before, they're not a team that's gonna give up. You know, they're always gonna fight four quarters. Did you notice guys walking? On defense instead of running on defense. Mm -hmm. uh, I was one of them. You know, I mean, I take blame for myself too. I, on some plays, I'm watching backside. I'm walking, and uh, that's not acceptable. I mean, that, those little things like that show up on film, and, and that stuff it, it matters. When everybody's flying to the ball, good things are gonna happen. But if you want to let, hoping that somebody else makes the plays, that's what the result was today. How, how do you change that game seven? How, how, how do you change that seven games in? You know, seven games into the season. Uh, at this point, it's just gonna have to come within and come within yourself. I mean, this. Coach, is try coach, coach can stress about it so much, but at the end of the day, it's going it comes down to us. So we can't really uh, do anything but just find, dig deep and find it and uh, continue to play and realize that we got still we got we got a full season to play still. We're half a season. So. Is there anything scheme wise between last year and this year that you're having trouble with, or is it, or what is it? Uh, basically, it's the same stuff almost. I mean, it's just different terminology. At this, like I said, at this point, we just got to execute and finish. That's all it is. Jalen, uh, you know, this is your first game back. How did you feel out there? Six catch, 118 yards. It seems like you played pretty well. You feel all right today? I feel fine. I'm out of shape. Uh, I ain't back in shape. Uh, I feel like I played an okay game. Could have been a lot better, especially if I had a not fumble the ball. But um, it is what it is. I'll get better from here, hopefully. Jalen, this feeling that you and your team have right now, how do you guys bounce back and try to save or salvage the rest of this season? Uh, it's a sickening feeling. Uh, I could honestly – you know, listen to everybody who who hates me right now, and I, and I could let it dictate how I play the rest of the season, or I can do what I always do, and stay in my own, stay in my own way, and do my own thing, and um, shake it off and get back to it. You know, it's, it's easy to get get um, down on yourself. You know, I can I can blame my wrist, so I fumbled the ball because my wrist is messed up, or I can blame anybody else for it the whole game, but. That wouldn't do any good. So it's better. It's better to just stick together. Is it better that you guys have a big game on the road at Florida State coming up to kind of refocus and kind of put this behind you and get ready for next week? Uh, you can say that, 
you know. But uh, at the end of the day, regardless of who we plan, it's going it's, it boils down. It boils down to us because you know every game we've lost, we beat ourselves. You know, it's not a team. You know, not taking anything away from Clemson, NC State, or Boston College, but it's not a team that that just comes out and beats us. It's a lot of times we beat ourselves. Jalen, you said after I think it was after the Clemson game that you you guys had to wash that one away and forget about it. What you said, you said a minute ago about yourself, you, you does the team, whole team kind of have to do that? Yeah, yeah, one? definitely. It's, it's definitely important to you know, uh, you know, I wouldn't say put it in the past because it, it, it's it's um it's there. You know, four and three, even the record shows it's going to show the rest of the year, but move on. You know, it, you can't dwell on that. You can't be upset about that for. For seven days leading up to Florida State, you know you're thinking about all the mistakes you made last week, and you're trying to compensate for the mistakes you made that week. Trying not to make the same mistakes this week. Now you're playing stiff and playing slow, so it's just one of the things. Let go. Does that I, get, I don't dwell on stuff. Too long. Does that get harder? I mean, moving on, shaking up. Does that get harder? Because you guys just, you seem to have done a nice job of that with the two losses so far. But does it get harder? No, it doesn't get harder. I've, I've, I've been on teams growing up and never won a game three, four years in a row. I mean, it was, I know how to lose, I know how to win, so it is what it is. Jalen, is this a true must win against Florida State? Uh, it is. It is a must win. You know, uh, it's two in a row we've lost. You know, it, and it's a bad taste in our mouth. It's, it's like I said, it's a sickening feeling. You know, um, I, I can honestly say, you know, probably a lot of people don't want to sleep much tonight. Um, they're thinking about, thinking over and over about one play or this play or this play, like Coach P said. It's uh, probably 30 plays. You can be like that play would have won the game. And, and all 30 of those players that made that, missed that play or made a bad bad play or wrong decision on that play are going to think about that, you know, including myself. So, yeah. Is there someone besides the coaching staff who stands up in front of the team and says, let's turn things around? Yeah, our captains do a pretty good job, you know, standing up. Lamar's been a lot more vocal this year, um, taking over and, and trying to get the team amped up. And he, he does a great job, you know. Um, I feel like we responded well to him when we went down. You know, like, like John said, uh, we changed the uh, momentum change, lack of energy. And we uh, went down, we scored about four uh, four times in a row, you know, in the game. So I feel like we got it back. Okay.